now. Michael Moe, the CEO of Cooler Technology. Wow, Michael, you've been busy. Great to have you on the show. Just talk to me and tell our viewers how your technology is being applied on this NASA mission. Uh, yes, hey, uh, hey, uh, Julia, good, good to see you again. Uh, yes, our uh, HeSync is on the Mars rover Perseverance. Uh, we're part of the uh, a, a instrument called Sherlock, uh, which uses laser and camera to find signs of life on Mars. So our carbon fiber technology is used to keep the um, the laser and the electronics on the Sherlock instrument uh, cool and sound to to find life on Mars. How does it actually work, Michael? How much heat? can they absorb? Because you came on the show before and you said to us, look, this application is being used by, by NASA, but it can also be used, as we just pointed out there, in supercars to keep lithium-ion batteries cool. Yes. Uh, so last year I was on the show, we were talking about our technology on the International Space Station uh, to keep uh, the astronauts' uh, laptop batteries safe and cool. Uh, you mentioned that we just uh, announced a partnership uh, with, with, uh, with Draco uh, GTE. Uh, and this is a 1,200 horsepower uh, EV supercar. Uh, goes at the 206 miles per hour. I think it's the fastest, uh, uh, you know, EV on the market right now. Uh, we're gonna take the Mars rover technology and apply to their battery pack and make it even cooler. So uh, the goal is to make it uh, the car even faster and to make it the coolest and the fastest uh, EV uh, in the galaxy. So uh, watch out, uh, Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> cool and cool there. But in terms of even just the physical substance here, because I was reading about it, it's a vertical carbon fiber architecture. It's like a wax and it goes from solid to liquid as it absorbs the heat. And this is pretty unique technology. Yeah, that's a phase change. So as the, uh, the wax, uh, the paraffin, uh, changes uh, its um, uh, uh, form, face, uh, from a solid form into a liquid form. Uh, it would absorb a lot of energy or, uh, or uh, put out a lot of energy uh, without the changing the temperature of the, uh, the actual uh, heat sink in the cell. So you keep a nice ambient temperature uh, for the instruments to operate on Mars, and that's how you can keep uh, you know, the lasers and the cameras, the, in, uh, you know, the instruments uh, operate well. Uh, on the Mars harsh environment. I believe that we actually have six of these heat sinks on Sherlock. So, you know, different instruments have different temperature requirements. So it's very important to keep those temperatures uh, very constant uh, and nice for the instruments. Yeah, chemistry geek in me coming out here. When we last spoke <laughs> to you, when we last spoke to you, you weren't profitable. Where are we today? How's the business doing? Because this has been an incredibly challenging time for, for all businesses, I think. What has it meant for, you, for your company? Yeah, no, uh, last time we, you know, we thought that we were in the growth phase, uh, obviously COVID hit. Uh, we took the initiative to lower our costs earlier this year. Uh, and uh, we announced uh, uh, that the forecast to be the Q2 uh, to have uh, over 200% growth year over year. Um, so our earning uh, will be coming out soon, but that was already, uh, uh, you know, given out as a forecast. Um, uh, we lower our costs on the operating side, uh, you know, really hunker down and uh, focus on our uh, you know, bread and butter, uh, going, going after the commercial customers as well as the, uh, the government uh, you know, contracts. So things have been going well, um, and uh, we will continue to, uh, to uh, see growth in our business. Will it suppress innovation, at least in the short term? As you said, you're having to cut costs here. I believe you took a paycheck protection loan as well, which is another thing for the company to handle. To what extent is it going to sort of stagger the growth that you were hoping for here, or can you can you circumvent that? Yeah, um, I think that you know in this environment uh, you still have to just innovate. Uh, I mm. think uh, last year we talked about uh, what I call the uh, you know the quarter 1.0, which is really showcasing the space uh, technology on the International Space Station now on Mars. Um, now we're on the journey for quarter 2.0, which is taking that space technology and start showing it in vertical applications like EV, right? Taking the Mars technology going into the fastest EV car in the world. Um, we also announced earlier uh, this month that we have a partner and customer called Volta Energy going to the energy storage space. And that's actually taking what we talked about last year about the International Space Station technology for, for keeping the batteries safe uh, into energy storage. So this customer is gonna have the energy storage in uh, medical facilities, uh, office space. 
so uh, you know re really go you know go into these um, uh, go into these vertical markets. Uh, and as a natural migration, we're going to continue to um, innovate and invest in the technology and then grow into um, how to combine these technology vertical space and work with regulators uh, about battery safety, you know, uh, how to embed our technology and our know-how into keeping the public safer uh, uh, by working with the regulators, as well as working with financial institutions such as insurance companies and leasing companies and so forth, and create the right, uh, you know, kind of the financial and business model for end customer. So um, the natural migration is to continue to innovate and uh, develop, uh, you know, uh, you know, migrate a cooler business model from 1.0 to 2.0, hopefully to 3.0. So we get maybe it. 2021. Michael, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> you are, you yeah. are not standing idle. Great to chat to you. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations on the launch. We'll okay, see thank how you, uh, the technology works. Come back and talk to us soon. Michael Mo there, the CEO of Cooler.